morning everyone. It has been a very wonderful delivery day today. It's also a very busy house. We have our cleaners in. This has just been delivered. This is my Cartier rolling ball uh, refill. I've had this pen a year. It's what Annie bought me for Christmas last year and I use it so much that almost a year on, I have just ran it out. So I ordered a new one yesterday and I'm very, very happy about it. <laughs> There's nothing like writing with a really good pen. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the most boring start to a vlog ever. Please don't click off, don't go anywhere. It will get better. Um, also, I am trying out a new concealer. I'm wearing it as foundation today. I don't know if I can tell you about it, but so far, I'm loving it. I need to see how it lasts throughout the day because my face is really dry at the moment and I really struggle in the evenings. So I will update you if I remember later on. Today, the footings for the greenhouse begin. We've just had a digger show up. I'm not gonna say the words, it is very expensive, but it's costing me a lot more than I actually envisioned. I probably should have gone for a cheaper greenhouse structure now that I am aware of how much it's going to cost to level the ground and put in the gravel paths that I want. We live and we learn, but thankfully it'll add value to the house. So all is not lost. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> this is what I was going to wear today and it's actually the same dress that I was wearing yesterday. So it's a good job that I've just had the most beautiful delivery from Lily Silk. Oh my goodness. I cannot tell you how long I have been on the hunt for the perfect slip dress style. And when I saw these, I thought I had to get some really kind of festive colors. Obviously for me, black is totally festive but the jumper dress is stealing the show. This color is my absolute dream and the quality of this. This is their silk and wool mix jumper dress and I think this is what I'm gonna wear today with a beautiful Alexander McQueen dress. I'm gonna pop this on right now, but I'm also gonna try on some of these other items with you. Basically, this is looking a lot more red on camera. It's actually just a slightly lighter shade than, uh, than this one, but Basically, I wanted one of those really beautiful slip dresses that you can put jumpers over the top. So I've got some of the cashmere jumpers from Lily Silk as well. These are such a beautiful quality. I went for this beautiful ivory color because I think in terms of being a little bit festive, popping this ivory color over the um, silk dress will be absolutely beautiful. I then went for a more oatmeal color because I think that I'll layer this quite a lot with my gilets and it'll be nice and warm. And then I also went for this kind of ballet wrap style, which I think will be beautiful. I've got some cashmere joggers that this will go so nicely with. So I'm gonna try all of these pieces on with you and show you um, what I ordered because honestly, I think that this is just such a lovely little edit of pieces from Lily Silk and I think that you'll like it too. Before I put the jumper on top, I wanted to show you this dress because oh my goodness, I have been on the hunt for this dress for as long as I can remember. This fit is the perfect fit for a slip dress, I am over the moon. And I'm sorry, I feel like I'm going a bit over the top on this, but you have no idea how difficult it is to get a slip dress that's actually flattering. You need to have the right level of back showing, so it needs to come down to about there. I mean, it can come lower, but I don't think that they should ever be higher than this. Um, it's got a really nice demure neckline. It's not showing too much for me personally. It skims your body like this, it's just, Amazing, I am so, so happy with this. I wanted to show you it without the jumper on first, just to show you how beautiful the silhouette is. And obviously the color is gorgeous and it feels amazing. So because this dress is not your typical festive red, I don't think I'm gonna end up looking like uh, Mrs. Claus. I think this is gonna look really beautiful, festive, but still chic. And this is just, So I've got the jumper on. Now, if you haven't been watching my Instagram hacks, you won't know about this, but I have mentioned it in my videos. My little elastic waistband belt thingy is what I use in these instances. Where is it? Well, I've also got this little Velcro belt as well. So I'm gonna use this to tuck in on this occasion until I find my belt. It often goes missing because I take it off in 
the wildest of places, but you just pop something around your waist and you tuck in as much as you want to create more of a disheveled look. I don't like it to look too perfect, but I also like to be able to see my waist because otherwise you can end up looking a little bit blocky. There we go, this is how I intend to wear it and I think it looks so lovely with boots. It is so warm, so toasty and it just looks so festive. You could add some pearls to this or a nice statement necklace and it would just look so lovely, especially on Christmas day. I am gonna enjoy some nights out in this for sure over the next few days because this is my kind of vibe. It's so flattering and I'll probably put a bra on <laughs> just to hide that, but love this. I also wanted to show you this styled up for an evening out as well because just putting a little blazer over the top makes it so chic and so dressy. I've even kept the boots with it as well because Boots under a dress is such a lovely look. Um, I've popped my petite mal with my dress and I think that this would be so lovely for an evening at my favorite place, Woven Mosaic, <laughs> which I'm definitely gonna have to do. This is the black one styled up. I think I can loosen these straps a little bit, but this I'd probably, because of all of the black shades, I'd probably go for heels and maybe no tights with this one and do something a little bit more glam with loads of jewelry for this. But it also can be layered up with the cashmere pieces, but also just incredibly beautiful all on its own. I managed to find my elastic band and this is what I mean. I need to get my um, jumper kind of tucked into the elastic band enough so that you can see the smallest part of the waist. So it's it's just way more flattering this way, but also it's really comfortable because there's no like tightness or anything like that. The elastic band is so handy and this is just the absolute dream. Oh my gosh, I really wanna wear this today. And I popped it with a Federer, which I think is lovely. And I love it. Let me know which one you like the best. Do you like the red and the cream or do you like this slightly more earthy toned set? but I will uh, try on the last pieces with you as well, but I'm really loving this one. <laughs> and this is the final piece. I'm really happy because it has an amount of acrylic in it as well, which means that it's really stretchy and it kind of hangs really nicely as well. So it's more, I don't know what the word would be for something that just hangs really well, but it just does. Um, I've popped it on to show you without a belt. Um, I've got some tights on and some boots, but I'm gonna, pop a belt with it because that's probably how I would wear it. As usual, the Alexander McQueen belt of dreams is my belt of choice. It goes really well with this hat and obviously black and this quite kind of burgundy Merlot color is just the dream. I love it. You could even add a scarf to this. Should we see if we've got a scarf that looks nice with it? gone for a charcoal Hobbs one, but you could add it like this, cinch it in at the waist with the belt, and it just adds another dimension of color to it, and also a little bit more warmth, which I always like. And this is it on, so you could have the scarf like this, or you could do it over one shoulder, that's always very kind of like high fashion vibes. I love styling my scarves differently. Oh yes, this is it, hold on. Okay, this I love. It just gives it that real sort of like interest to the basics that you're wearing. This looks great. It almost looks like the scarf is actually part of the jumper as well. Love it. I also decided to be a little bit practical because Ali and I have decided that we're gonna leave a little basket by the front door with masks in because I can't tell you how many times we've gone out and forgotten our masks. So I decided to stock up on some beautiful silk masks from Lily Silk. And these are all 100% silk. And basically the reason why I personally go for silk masks is because they have so many beauty benefits. Apparently they're so good for your skin and help you with absorbing moisture. And they're also really breathable and anti-aging apparently as well. Um, but they're just soft and smooth and I find that they're best for um, when I'm wearing makeup and things like that. So I really like the, the style of these sage ones. Obviously when I saw sage, like, oh, look at these. These are so soft on the inside. And as you can see, 
really beautiful and nice and soft but also protective so I'm really happy with these. And I thought I would quickly show you the ivory one as well because they both just look really, really lovely and I find that they don't move my makeup around on my face as much and um, they just look so lovely and they're also so soft, so very happy. There's not just fashion and masks on Lily Silk. You'll know that I've got their bed sheets um, and their pillowcases. They do so many different things like camis and pajamas and things like that so you can go on there and you can find anything that you need but it's in super good quality and um, the price range is really good as well i do also have a discount code which i will pop on screen it's millen 12 lily silk and that will get you an extra 12 percent off online as well so just a nice little something off and i just think that things like masks and beautiful silk masks make such great stocking fillers at this time of year because we all need them so um yeah but everything will be linked down below with all of the information and my code as well well, so I hope that's helpful. Good afternoon everyone. I have changed about a million times today because I'm shooting some campaigns but I'm actually feeling a little bit weird because <laughs> I've done so many things in this house recently and none of them are finished and my house is starting to look like a state but I know it'll all be finished before Christmas. I do know that but I do this thing where I'm like oh can you just move these lights and I, I genuinely think that that someone just picks up the light and just moves it a couple of inches to the left. No, no, that's not what happens. This is what happens. You get two holes in your walls in order to move your outdoor lights. So now, this is what we're looking at. And then, then I think to myself, I'm gonna get a greenhouse. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be just like all of the fancy hotels that have greenhouses. And then you look out of your window at the Clarkson Builders boys and they are excavating where it's gonna be and I'm just absolutely petrified like look we have we are digging a huge hole in our lawn and moving the soil <laughs> oh my goodness guys what have I done I just thought we'd just plonk a greenhouse there it looked lovely oh no 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 we have to dig out the ground. We have to le then level the ground because we can't level it with this soil. No, no, we have to buy other soil. And everything is just, just a mess. My goodness. So as it stands right now, my front gate walls aren't done. <laughs> my porch is missing completely. And we have a huge hole and lots of mud everywhere in the garden and yeah. Bit upset about it. <laughs> what is it? We got you a team present. A team present? Why, wait, 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 let me hold up my hands. This feels too much pressure. I don't know where to put my camera. Ah, well, why are all these balloons out? Let me hold your, let me hold your camera. Okay. What is it? Well, there's a reason we're wearing our Christmas jumpers today. Except me. Yeah. <laughs> Erica, where's your Christmas jumper? <laughs> And you love pizza. <laughs> so we Santa cats right It's a Christmas <laughs> This is highly flammable. <laughs> it's beautiful. I, I love how you get like, the most chic flamingo jumping at it. Okay, yours not so much. <laughs> riding pizzas. But this is instead of an apron when we're Christmas baking. Oh really? Yes. yes. So <laughs> did you not think it was weird that we're in Christmas jumpers no, today I in, in November? <laughs> no, I think your, your, your general day to day wear is so quirky. It? <laughs> <laughs> you can normal jumpers <laughs> under the tea. <laughs> oh thanks guys. I mean I don't not go in the bin today. <laughs> but I'm going to say that baking with this I would be quite worried. Like have you felt that? I mean, we're not going anywhere near open flames. Okay. So, yeah. Any, ex just, any excuse not to wear it? Yeah. She's like, Can I wear it in theory? theory? <laughs> no, that's what you're meant to think is. Oh. We, it was cats and pizza on Christmas. It's I mean, like your favourite thing. Is that Brussels sprouts? No, they're baubles. They're baubles. Very lovely. I mean, lovely. no, I have the baubles with the Brussels sprouts on. Really. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for always thinking of me. <laughs> I love that you look so classy at the moment. I'm like the lady of the manor. <laughs> and this is my 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 um other what's the word? Oh no. Alt wait. alter ego. Alter ego, that's it. I was gonna say ulterior motive. I was like, that's definitely yeah, not it. That that's not it. My alter ego. Perfect. 
I love it, thanks. <laughs> I am such a stalker that I've literally just watched the guys leave from doing the garden and I've grabbed my camera, put on a dressing gown and I'm running outside to show you what they've done before it gets dark. Also, can we appreciate this? Like, our house still looks like this. <laughs> We're waiting for the stone, uh, coping stones to come so that then the porch can sit on top of it. The porch is supposed to be installed on the second of December, so fingers crossed. Anyway, we are now heading into the garden because, oh my God, this is gonna make me cry, isn't it? It's like you just get to that point where everything just looks so terrible and you're like, why did I do this? Why did I do this? Oh my goodness. I actually want to cry. <gasps> Look how deep they've gone. Oh my gosh. This is actually frightening. It looks horrendous. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I actually feel a little bit sick. And then there's all of this mud over here that has obviously been ex excavated, which we can't use because we need type one, not just soil. We've got these big machinery thingies in our garden. I hope you guys will remember, will remind, oh wow, look at the sky over there. Will it come across on camera? Oh, look at that, it's gorgeous. You guys are more than welcome to remind me <laughs> of this when it's all finished because I'm at that point where I'm like, what have I done? Like, what have I done? <laughs> I know it's probably gonna be perfect, but like, look, there's just stuff everywhere. Like our walls aren't done, the porch isn't done. It's gonna be fine. It is gonna be fine. I'm waiting for an evening when I'm actually gonna have some energy and I'm gonna put the new decorations on the tree. My little like glass ones that I got. I also had this beautiful ribbon delivered today. It's actually pretty similar to the color of the red dress um, that I was wearing earlier from Lily Silk, but I've had a very exciting delivery. I said, as soon as I found the right dog for us, I was going to order this particular item. Um, it was just too beautiful not to, and it was from a brand I discovered recently. I actually ended up buying a few bits from here. I'm gonna turn the lights on so you can see me. Yeah, I ended up buying a few items from the brand, and um, one of them is a Christmas present for Ali, so I don't know if I'll be able to show you it, but it's a brand called Purdy, and oh, that's festive, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, it's a brand called Purdy, and I actually found it via net a -Porte Bazaar. And do you know what? I'm not sure, it might be too big, I don't know. It was the smallest one they did. If it is the smallest one they do, I'm going to write to them and ask them to make one specially for me, because I want this particular item. So this is what I saw, and I just thought it was so smart, and it would suit him perfectly. Obviously, this is for when he's a big boy. Oh, it's gonna be too big. He's never gonna be able to wear that. Sad times. I did think it sounded quite big. Basically, mate, I'm sure I can get this shortened. Yeah, I'd have to get it shortened somehow because otherwise it covers the lovely bit, the, the thing that I loved the most. So this is a little collar from the brand Purdy. And the reason why I loved it was because it had this gorgeous like aged brass plaque and I would get obviously his name and his, our phone number engraved on it. Have some guesses of what we've called him in the comment box down below. I'd love to see if any of you get his name right. But um, sadly, it's gonna have to go back. I am um, gonna go on the hunt for another one, but it's so beautifully made. Like, it's got the Purdy logo in there. I'm definitely gonna buy more from the brand because I just thought it was really lovely. Like, they have really lovely homeware. Obviously, I know that it's a, it's a hunting brand, but their homeware pieces are actually very, very beautiful. Uh, but I'll be sending that back if I can't get it made smaller. And it looks like the item that I've got for Ali is already wrapped. So I'm gonna leave that in there because that is something for him. 
got my receipt. I absolutely love, 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 love the branding. But then for myself, because I can't not treat myself whenever I'm making an order, I bought myself a hat because they had a really lovely green hat on there. And I thought, seeing as I'm getting into my hats at the moment, that it might suit me. And I think it does. And I don't care what anyone else says. But yeah, I got this hat and it fits. Um, so I thought I'd show you those things. I really, really wanted to make Toad in the Hole tonight. That was what I was planning on doing. I've never made Toad in the Hole before, but I was watching one of Josie and Charlie's vlogs and um, they made Toad in the Hole and I was like, oh, I really want some of that. So I checked on the Thermomix and the Thermomix has a recipe. However, I needed to order an ingredient and the ingredient is in our food shop that isn't coming until between seven and nine and I'm not cooking that late because I am starving. So, I'm gonna have to make do with what's in the cupboards and try and rustle something up. Probably be pasta. If we have pasta, it'll probably be pasta. I'll have a look. Nonetheless, I'll have a look. But the hat is staying and so is the uh, Christmas gift. Sad times about the collar though. I was very, very excited about this, but I, it was a concern. All right, it was a concern that it was gonna be too big, and it is. I've got some, obviously for when he's a puppy, I've got some special puppy collars coming because obviously he has to wear special puppy collars. But I was thinking for when he was bigger, but he's, de he's definitely not gonna fit in that, so that's fine. It's fine, sad times. <laughs> But anyway, their homeware is beautiful, especially their office wear and things like that. They are really, really lovely. This, I'm going to go and hide. Well, I'm a little bit bummed out about that, that collar, but I'm gonna go in search of more tonight. Now, I have found a bag of pasta in the pantry and we also have this sauce, which is olive and tomato pasta sauce from Sajano, and this was in our that pantry delivery. So I'm just going to heat that up, stir it in, and have it with some cheese. Toad in the hole, maybe tomorrow. 